This is the immigrant story about Michaela Sanchez and her family. Originally from Lima, Peru, they came to the United States, in specific Salt Lake City, Utah, when Michaela was only four years old and the year was 2000. Michaela is pictured on the left here in one of the last photos she has from Peru. Not too long after taking this picture, her and her family relocated to a whole new culture and to a whole new way of life. This story begins when Michaela and her family touched down in Salt Lake City, Utah. Since Michaela was only four when she moved away from Lima, Peru, she doesn't remember much of her life back there. Instead, she remembers how her family carried the culture of Peru over to Salt Lake City and also how they assimilated to their new culture. When Michaela, her brother Andreas, her father Luis, and her mother Sylvia first arrived in Salt Lake City, Utah, they lived near Cottonwood Heights. And Michaela remembers when her family started interacting with the new culture, they all started to change, her father and her mother especially. In her first few years living in her new culture in Salt Lake, Michaela remembers seeing less and less of her father, Luis. Michaela remembers only seeing him at night when he was coming home from his job as a personal contractor. In their first few years living in Utah, Michaela remembers just how stressed her mother and father were with their new workload, trying to learn the new language of English, and also trying to learn the ins and outs of the new culture. However, along with the negatives came some positives. The Sanchez family moved to a nicer part of town called Suncrest. Sylvia and Luis, Michaela's parents, started to make the most of their new life. They started to buy designer clothes, take vacations, buy a couple of cars, and develop their dream house. All things that weren't available in Lima, Peru. This is when Michaela realized the two identities within her family, the Peruvian side and the American side. From a viewer's perspective, the Sanchez family looked like an everyday middle class family, with a couple of cars, a pretty decent house, and a little bit of spending money. However, within the Sanchez residence, the culture was Peruvian. Her father still listened to Peruvian music, her mother cooked Peruvian food, and the textiles and artwork around the house were mainly Peruvian. And of course, they spoke in Spanish. This is a perfect example of just how an immigrant family, like the Sanchez family, can come to the United States of America assimilate to the culture to a certain degree, but also retain the culture of their homeland. Sure, the Sanchez family came here, they became American, and they became citizens, but they will always retain the Peruvian side of their identity for the rest of their lives.